Welcome to Gems of Knowledge with your hosts, David Bellman and Justin Crawl. Each week, our experts will answer all of your jewelry questions with Rachel Putney, our social media maven, who will relay your questions to our experts. And now, here's your host, David Bellman. Hi, I'm David Bellman, and welcome to another episode of Gems of Knowledge. I am joined, as always, with my guest hosts, the lovely Rachel. Hello, how are you? And the stiff-necked <laughs> Justin, <laughs> who I guess has a little injury, but he'll, he said he could make it through the, the broadcast, right? Yeah, we'll get through it. How you doing, Dave? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm really excited because today we're going to do something very interesting, which we haven't really done before, which is show you some of our inventory. Um, you know, that comes from Bellman's that uh, you just picked up when you went to the show, which we did two really nice episodes on. Yeah. And uh, I think it's really important for our viewers to see what it is that you're bringing back so they can come by the store and check it out, right? Well, I'll tell you, these pieces that we brought in for the show today are some of my favorites. They're not necessarily the most expensive, yep. but they're the most unique and interesting that I thought our audience would love to see. Yeah, and again, just to keep in mind, this is just a sampling of the pieces that uh, he brought back, just kind of the fun ones, because you must have brought back at least 100 pieces, it seems to me. Oh, oh, we we purchased, yeah, that, it was think. like over 200 and something items. Uh, a lot of them have sold already before they even hit the showcase, but yep. uh, these are some of the pieces that uh, we just really want to uh, show everybody today. All right, so well, let's talk this one right off the top. Um, let's see. This is the Moy Unite ring. Yeah, the Morganite so and uh, set in rose gold, completely yeah. hand done, hand engraved. That mounting was specifically uh, custom made to fit this twelve point. I think it's twelve point four two carat natural Morganite, which a lot of people don't know is the same material as emerald. Emerald is green, uh, Morganite is uh, pink. Uh, very popular today, Morganite and Rose Gold. It's a, it's a thing right now. So when I saw this, I just had to have it. Um, it's nice how you're actually showing it from the side. Mm -hmm. The steps of that Morganite are the same steps that go down the side of the mounting. Um, yep. Surrounded by diamonds and a little halo. And what, what I really love is just that, that hand engraving. This That's is amazing. A, yeah, and, it, and it's a piece that it's totally unique. Yeah, you'll never see that no. ring again. Nope. That's it. It's yeah. one of a kind. Tell me about the hardness of Morganite, though. It's still it's harder than, uh, than Emerald. Though. Same as Emerald. It is the same? Yeah. So people have to be careful with this stone. They do. This is not going to be an everyday ring. I mean, people do wear Emeralds every day, but mm -hmm. they typically scratch. Yeah. yeah. This is something I would wear once a week, once a month, when you're going out, uh, enjoying the night. Exactly. All right. Well, let's see. Let's do something a little different. Um, we have here. Okay, we have here. <laughs> I am Wait really sorry I grabbed this one. <laughs> no, this is one of my favorite. Look okay. at his eyeballs. <laughs> he is angry. <laughs> He's something. Or... He is a um, designer uh, brooch. And brooches, by the way, are coming back. Totally. Um, we saw a lot of people wearing them in Miami when Whoop. we were down there. Yep. This is 18 karat gold, uh, all Burmese rubies, natural sapphires, natural diamonds, of course, natural rubies, uh, made by, I think it's Kiri. The, the last one we saw um, on first dibs was like wow. almost $10,000. Really? Uh, yeah, just a very unique, obscure kind of designer. I mean, who can think of a character like that? What is it? Is it a pirate? I know. Is you it... know? Who knows? It's their imagination come to True. come to life in this eighteen karat gold mm -hmm. ruby sapphire and diamond brooch. Just he looks a... like a uh, armless gnome. <laughs> He's, yeah. I, I just had to have it. I mean, when when I saw it, I thought it was really cool, and someone else is going to think so too. And someone's going to love it. Yeah, no doubt. So just real quick, this the price is twenty nine fifty. Uh, what do you think the the retail value? If you had to produce a piece like this for someone, you know, your that's more of your thing. But yeah. uh, I, I all I can tell you is there was one that sold on on first dibs yep. for almost ten thousand dollars. Oh, okay, got you. I gotcha. got a great deal on it, yep. so I'm, we're gonna pass those savings along to um, 
to our, our viewers and customers. We, and you said it was 18 karat? 18 karat. Right. So, I mean, just a scrap gold value with that is close to yeah. what you're selling it for. So that's a lot of, uh, and you're getting the Burmese rubies and everything else. So that that's really, really cool. Yes. All right. What do we got? So these, um, I forget if these are 18K or 14, but um, enamel is one of these lost arts that I think we've talked about on the show. Mm -hmm. Very difficult to get anything quality in enamel these, day, these days, um, especially if you need something repaired. It's yep. impossible. Nobody's doing it. When I saw these, the flow of the gold mm -hmm. blending into the enamel with this peachy pink, I'm sure there's a proper name for that color, but um, just the workmanship of this enamel in these Nautilus styled earrings with a little diamond in the center, just the, the attention to detail on these were phenomenal. Yeah, they are. And these, those are shells, right? Yeah, they're they're Nautilus they're shells. Yeah. Shells are so popular. Yeah. Anything like that. And the beach has like meaning to so many people and shells have so much meaning to yeah. people. So. I don't think these will be around too long. No. Yep. And um, just real quick, let me just check the price at twelve ninety five. Yeah. Again, extremely reasonable price there as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Now it's time for the guys to have some fun here. We need to <laughs> The Hulk. There yes. it is. So I picked up two of these. Yep. Uh, one brand new in the box, never worn, all the stickers, all the tags, um, actually in the original factory sealed box. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I have a this one, which is a pre-owned one. Um, it looks like it's brand new. Oh, Look absolutely. The, tell, tell people about what we're doing with Rolexes and the, you know the condition and you know what we like to sell because we don't sell the ones that are marginal. Everyone has to be almost like new or mint condition. They have to pass a very stringent, um, you know, uh, level of uh, quality for us to stock them. They have to be a nine or 10 out of 10. There you go. Okay, so if it's new, it's obviously gonna be a 10 out of 10. Pre-owned has to be a nine out of 10, otherwise we don't want it. And, and the nice thing about what we're doing too is we're taking all the risk out of this for people. So, you know, when you see these watches on the internet and so forth, and we've talked about this before, they're not always necessary. And if the price is really low, it usually means that their aftermarket parts have been put on them or they're not even real to begin with. Uh, you know, at least with us, if you purchase it from us, you'll be guaranteed that it is 100% original. Absolutely. And, uh, and that's important because you don't want to find out six months later or a year later that what you bought is only half that's an original right. Rolex watch. And of course, the value of that's going to drop you know, significantly. That's right. All, all of our, and you know, unless we take it in a trade and they just don't have it, which the watch is still valuable, but I'd say 95% of all of our uh, pre-owned Rolexes have the original card or paperwork. Yep. And uh, if it doesn't, well, either if it doesn't or it does, we still issue an appraisal with a certificate of authenticity exactly <laughs> all right I love this little guy <laughs> mr frog <laughs> where did you find this this I, is nuts. prince frog this is crazy um we've already gotten we 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 just put a couple little posts on facebook uh you know on on our individual pages yeah tons of reaction people Ton love it yeah they they really do put back. the workmanship of this thing imagine setting all of those diamonds. I it's tried. All diamonds. I tried counting it. I couldn't even count it. There was too so, many of them. See how close I can get and still keep it. In so focus. what? There's green diamonds, yellow diamonds, white diamonds, and black and, diamonds. And I believe for the eyes. All diamonds. Every and little. And 18 karat white gold. I think. Yeah, yeah. And it's just you know you'll see. There's a big difference. These are made in all sorts of different um, characters, and mm -hmm. there's there's basically. Um, two different types. One that's made in 10 karat and they're garbage. The, the stones are falling out. Yeah. They're not set properly. None of the diamonds match. They're horrible quality and it's made like junk. And then there's high quality like this. Yeah, this um, is incredible. And it weighs a ton too. Yeah. Last yeah. year, Dave, do you remember the Panther that I bought? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure so same along the same lines. We had that less than a month. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so just a cool piece yeah you could wear this well it's, it's designed to be a pendant but you could actually put a pin on the back of this too if a lady wanted to wear it I would love to, to see it. someone rock that well I kind of got it because I, I had a white gold chain that David would look really good in and he could put this on the chain yes. mm. you know when you have like your jumpsuit on <laughs> <laughs> 
That's all anyone would be talking about. <laughs> yeah. You can say that again. Oh, I have to get <laughs> Time to move along. All right. Oh, let's try this necklace. It's not going to be easy this to show. This one's my favorite. Oh, this one. But I'll do my best here to. It's actually not my favorite. But Great. my favorite you wanna, necklace. That you want to talk about this or you want me to. I think there's over 100 so, carats of natural aquamarine. Yes, cabochon. What kind of aquamarine is it? What would you call that? Well, they're just cabochon aquas. Um, nice color. Yeah, they're gorgeous color. It's a little hard to tell from here, but this is set in 18 karat white gold. Diamonds going, it looks like almost like a vine where the, the diamonds are going in and out through the aquas. It's really... And it sits so nicely on. It lays wonderfully. Yeah. And just a special piece. I It was one of my, you know, one of the ones I wanted to showcase today. Uh, like I said, we got well over a hundred items, and this was one of the um, one of the twelve we have for you today. Just a just a special piece, very difficult to make. And I mean, Dave, if you had to manufacture that, well, it, just just finding enough um, material, you're just finding enough aquas. That's the right. challenge. Like this is the biggest challenge of all, right? Because you know, the, there's not a ton of aqua out there to begin with, and they all have to be cabochons, and they all have to be the same exact color. You know, right. It would take you months to put all of those stones together unless you custom cut them from, I don't know. I don't even know how they did it, to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah, they, they did the and I think that is one of the best deals that we have yeah, in you, our case is that necklace. Do you happen to know the price offhand? I don't know that it's on here. Was but it 58 yeah, I think uh, it's somewhere in the the high four thousands to um, you know okay. like forty eight fifty or something was was where we wanted to be on that one. Right. Okay, well we uh, have it here in the store. You know where to find us. Yeah, and you can come in and take a look at it because yeah, I mean I can't even imagine what that looks like on someone. I bet it looks like a million bucks. We'll try it on. I'll put it on you, <laughs> <laughs> like I did last time and almost choked you. <laughs> <laughs> I may just choke you anyway, but anyway. Why is it uh, these are special. Yep. So pretty. So pink is always in. Pink mm -hmm. and diamonds definitely always in. Yep. Uh, 18 karat white gold. Mm -hmm. uh, the the hooks for earrings are wonderful. When you when you have a, a, a dangle like that or a chandelier, you know you don't want to post with a little butterfly back. These sit very nice in the ear. The, the color of those pink sapphires is phenomenal. It, it's actually a pretty good representation here in the, in the light box. Um, yeah. The diamond part of these earrings drop down with round, brilliant cuts down to a pear-shaped rose-cut diamond at the very bottom. Um, definitely, oh, yeah. You yeah. can see that now. Yeah, at the bottom. And if you notice... All of the um, like Golden Globes, all those Academy Awards, whatever they are, yep. all of the female celebrities are wearing chandelier statement earrings that remind me of these ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. Again, okay, those, those they're in their natural pink sapphires, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, they're 18 karat white gold and forty nine hundred and fifty dollars is the price. And I'm telling you, if this was in Tiffany's or Shreve's or somebody, I mean, these are ten, twelve thousand dollar earrings all For day sure. long. For sure, easy. Because these are not, uh, this is not like a, a set that's like 100 years old. I mean, this is relatively new yes. uh, design. This is not a, a like an old antique or estate piece. This is, again, a relatively new new item. So I like that a lot. Absolutely. Very contemporary, very in right now for sure. Agreed. All right. So let's switch out. Oh, let's look at some of these bracelets. I like this bamboo one. Oh, yeah. Who makes this? Okay. Gucci. Yes. Oh, this is Gucci? Yeah. So uh, Gucci is known for... You know, uh, many, you know, fashion styles today, mm -hmm. not so much known for their jewelry. To be honest, when you, when I saw that for the first time and you told me that it was Gucci, I had no idea that they made real jewelry, yeah. fine jewelry. Now, I only brought the, the bracelet, but we also have a pair of matching earrings and a matching ring. So we have a complete suite of these. Hmm. These are all 18 karat, all har hallmarked Gucci with their um, with their hallmark uh, stamp and uh, purity as well. Mm -hmm. uh, set with diamonds, it's definitely a bamboo style. I, t to be honest, this says to me mm -hmm. 1970s, but it could be brand new. I really don't know. They're definitely a state. 
Um, that bamboo was that was popular in the late seventies, right? It was. I remember we had a few Tiffany old Tiffany yeah. rings that were bamboo. Yeah. Yeah. No, something like this. Um, you know, it's bamboo, but then it's bamboo in a whole different style. You yeah. Know, these cut angles and all these different sizes. I've never seen anything like it ever. Yeah. So it's a really fun piece. I, I could appreciate it when I saw it, and I just wanted to uh, showcase that for everyone today. Okay, and just real quick, the price fifty is that right? 50, yeah, two hundred. Wow, that's it. Yeah, that's a lot of. And again, it's super heavy. A lot of bracelet, a lot yeah. of gold, a lot of diamonds by a designer that uh, is pretty unique. All right, let's do this. This is kind of a kind of a guy bracelet, but definitely a favorite guy bracelet. Guy bracelet. <laughs> You know, we have. We don't get that many guy pieces, men's yep. jewelry. The ones you get, you want them to make a statement, and this is certainly a statement piece. This is over, okay, so, so like any gold chain, like a <laughs> necklace that's anywhere near 100 grams is like, a huge chain. Yeah, especially these days with the price of gold being as high as it is, nobody's nobody keeps these. They're scrapping no. all these heavy pieces now. This but bracelet is 112 grams. Wow. Custom made. Yeah. And look at that. If you're a Harley guy or you're into it's motorcycles or any kind of biking, this is like, this would be it. This uh, would be the ultimate. I love it. Yeah. I think it looks so good on. Yeah. Let's, let's do a close up because there's like little screws, right, on the sides. Yes. Yeah, they went all out. Yeah. They the did detail. not mess around when they made this. Yeah, there you go. You can see. I mean, does it come apart from that, or is it just a design part? I wonder. I have not tried that. That's a good I question. I was wondering, are, the, are they links that you can take out? I wonder. You know, that would be uh, that'd be we pretty cool. We should find out. Yeah. No, I've, got a, I've got a hammer and a screwdriver. We'll <laughs> yeah. That way they, we we'll can find, find out if they can adjust it for people. Yeah, no, I mean, I, we could certainly take links out of it, no problem. But I'm just wondering if the screws actually, like, if that's what hold this together. Yeah, if it's just part of the design. But whatever, it's absolutely amazing. Like Justin said, it weighs a ton. It's solid, solid gold. It would last a lifetime. Last yeah, forever. 100%. Wow. Very cool. I like that a lot. All right. Um, one more, well, a couple more items. Let's do the dog. Ah, uh, yes. People are always liking dogs. <laughs> I'll tell you, this dog, <laughs> I don't know what kind of breed. Do you know what the breed is on this? Someone can Pe tell us when they Pekinese see this. Or something? Yeah, Pekinese. Pekinese. Okay. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I am going to sell this. This will, this will not be here for more than a week. Yep. Okay, so I, I put it on eBay. Wow, look at his eyes. I've already had like nine different offers on it, and I haven't even had the breed in the title. Really? So when I put the breed in there, because people are always searching their dog, you know, they want whatever, yeah. uh, Doberman or, yep. you know, Boxer or whatever. Look at, the, look at the detail. The way the diamonds yeah. are set, it is truly one of a kind. Yeah. I mean, this is huge. Hugely labor intensive, and it yeah. really is the spitting image of that dog. It, it's really cool. It's really cool. Uh, Eighteen carat again. Trying to go with the higher carats. Sure. Generally, it's going to be higher quality. Yeah, and uh, the colors. Whoops, is so much better. The when color. It's, uh, the eighteen carat on something like this, where you're seeing mostly, you know, all metal. Yeah. Look at the little diamonds in its tail and the everything. The hair detail is pretty cool. Yeah. Too. Yeah. One. Once again, just unique something different diamond collar <laughs> <laughs> go ahead i'm gonna show it go ahead <laughs> just going by <laughs> yeah we're definitely didn't sleep a lot last night oh. so we're all being all right my oh. favorite there's my baby yep this Check. is the last one, right? It is. I'm wearing one. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got one more that Rachel's wearing. Oh, that's right. Forgot about the ruby. All right, so let's talk about okay. this brand new. So this is the new Day Date 2 President Rolex. Um, this is 41 millimeters, their biggest president ever. Yep. It is the silver dial, which... So they make two dials with this. Just two? All, Yep, all champagne. Mm -hmm. in, in the yellow gold, they make two dials. Okay. Um, they also have a platinum one with a blue and all that. But but for the yellow gold, Day Day 2, they have two dials. One with an all champagne dial with yellow gold numerals. Mm -hmm. And then they have a silver dial with a gold Roman numerals, which I thought looks so much better. Wow. Um, 
and but. it just pops. It makes it stand out. It's really, really uh, one of a kind. Yeah, you know, the, the two tone effect is is huge. Yeah, it really is. And I powered I like my that. camera. <laughs> oh man, what happened? Uh, hold, hold that up there for a little while longer. I don't know what the heck. It's happened. getting it's getting heavy. It's getting it's, it's solid gold. That Come on, is Howard. Such a heavy piece. Yeah, down here. I'll just uh, put it down like this so people can see. Again, this watch. You know, if that it, is a if dream it, watch. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not new, but if it, if you look at every little detail about it, you'll see that um, yeah, it might as well be. So you're not, not going to pay the you're not going to pay the new price. No. Just out of curiosity, why don't you go ahead and tell them about the pricing? Okay, so because these just came out at the end of 2015, yep. there's not a lot of them out there on the pre-owned market. Okay. Okay, so the pre-owned price isn't that much different from the new price. Okay. But when you can get one in mint condition like this, that's pre-owned with the paperwork, you should be right around thirty-two thousand. And that's right where this is. This is thirty-two thousand. The retail price on this mm -hmm. is thirty-four five. Okay, and that's if you can get one. If right? you can find one, that's the key. So people say, "Well, geez, I might as well just go buy the new one for a couple grand." But good luck trying to find somebody who has one in stock because they're that's not right. producing a ton of these right. in the larger size. At Any the of IWJG show, I mean, if you ask someone the price of their new one, and then you ask them what it would be pre-owned, there was not really like a difference a at all. Like difference. maybe a thousand dollars. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's just they're that hot. Yeah. Yep. You I know, believe it. Rolex is not shipping out enough of the models that everybody wants. <laughs> yeah. It's always the story. Oh yeah. No, that's that's the way it works. That's yep. how they keep the prices solid and uh, demand up. All right, we got one more. Why don't you just kind of flash My that uh, this little ring here? This is the little. It's Ruby. not little. Yeah. But. So this is a new acquisition uh, from the show again. Sure. Okay. It is a designer piece. Yeah, tell them about the, the who they are. So the Dave, do you know the um, who has the world record for the most expensive bra right now? Uh, Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I wish. <laughs> Because I certainly don't, so it must be either her or you. Moai. She'd sell it and buy the so, one. I don't know if I'm you pronouncing that right. In the VS fashion shows, Victoria's Secret fashion shows, they're in these bedazzled bras that are probably millions 21 of dollars. Million. 21? 21 million. This designer has designed 11 of those fantasy bras. I'll tell you what, we'll we'll pop up some of those pictures uh, in post because <laughs> I'm sure everybody wants to see them. And we don't have any with us at the moment, so we will get some. But go ahead. So they, he makes bras and he made this ring. Yes, which this is 22 karat yep. um, yellow gold surrounded, uh, or excuse me, with a massive, I still have to put the measurements into um, our appraisal program to try to figure out the weight of this ruby, but it's got to be 20 or 30 carats, may, yeah. maybe more. More than that. Surrounded by um, rose-cut champagne diamonds, yeah. um, and it's stamped with his name. It's a very unique stamp. Even the bridge work underneath is spectacular. It's just one. I mean, I, I couldn't find anything on it um, other than every single A-list Actress in is wearing and actors yep. are wearing his pieces. Yep. Karda Kardashian, Hilton's, um, you, you know, every every single one on their website they have list after list. And this was a line that he did for a very short period of time for a little while, mm -hmm. doing twenty two carat with rubies and diamonds. There's some other pieces that I could find that he did, but I could not find this exact one. Okay, I found something smaller. Yep. And it was 35 grand. Wow. I don't know what this was new. I, I really don't. Yep. Um, yep. No, I think, um, you know, I, I would say at least $30,000 would be my guess, you know, for something like this. Yeah. And this is 12, 12 five. I got a good deal on it. And again, passing it along. Yep. No, that's the way to do it. Wow. We covered a lot of ground. Yes. And uh, those were some pretty incredible pieces. Yeah, so, for uh, sure. I'm glad we got a chance to show them to everyone. And hopefully, uh, coming up probably next week, um, you know, we can bring in a few more pieces just, just for fun. And, and then we've got also those, uh, we're definitely going to do the celebrity 
uh, engagements that we talked about. Definitely. Nice. All right. So we got some big celebrities out there that have gotten have gotten engaged recently. And, and some I'm not of, one of them. Well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on it. We'll get you engaged. Don't worry. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to um, definitely uh, get some nice pictures of those rings because it's really kind of interesting. A lot of them were emerald cuts, and I was really kind of surprised by that. So or pair those fancy shapes They're... coming back. I know. I, I don't. I don't get it. I notice <laughs> anytime I Google like celebrity rings and stuff because I like to look at them because they're so big. Yeah. They're all. I don't ever see round. A lot of them are emerald cut um, cushion. Always pair, fancy shapes. Always yep. fancy. Yeah. Could they start? Wearing marquees, so I can sell them. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, this is a big problem in our business. We got to get the celebrities to wear all the stuff that uh, hasn't been selling lately because yeah. it, they go through cycles. And uh, yeah, marquee shaped diamonds haven't really been all that hot lately, but they are great stones. They, they are around, a beautiful around. diamond is a beautiful diamond, right? You right. know, if it's a moon. Well, we got to go. We went way over time, but at least we got to show everything that we had to show today. So thank awesome. you very much for joining us as always. And we will be back next week and we'll have some more exciting jewelry things to show you. Take care. Thanks, Dave. Right.